Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Western Armenia condemns Turkish attacks against Armenians in France. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armen Akabramian, visited Vahan Badesian. Azerbaijan keeps shelling the cities of Stepanakert, Shushi, and Marta Gert. Struggle for the right of indigenous people to self determination in the Republic of Artsakh. The risk of sanctions for Turkey is growing, State Department. Research on Armenian Architecture Foundation comes up with a new initiative, Sites of Western Armenia. Western Armenia strongly condemns the Turkish attacks on Armenians in France yesterday. In particular, last night in the French city of Lyon, hundreds of Turks took to the streets during curfew looking for Armenian business premises to destroy them. Yesterday morning, the Armenian protesters closed the highway to Valence and Vienna in two directions, expressing their protest against the aggression of Azerbaijan and Turkey towards Artsakh. During the action, a group of Turks attacked the Armenian protesters with hammers and knives. More than 10 people were injured including children. President of Western Armenia Armen Akabramian visited his military friend Vahan Badesian, who is currently receiving treatment in a hospital. Vahan Badesian was on the front from the first days of the war. After being seriously wounded in the head, he was transferred to Yerevan to undergo a complicated operation. Today, his condition is assessed as satisfactory. After exchanging some thoughts, Mr. Abramian and Mr. Badesian analyzed the current situation on the front. Those present expressed confidence that we had won the first Artsakh one, we will win this one too. The full video is available on our official YouTube channel. The Azerbaijani forces are using smart volley fire systems to attack the cities of Stepanakert, Shushi, and Martakert, Artsakh Defense Army reports. Azerbaijan has once again violated international human and customary law by targeting peaceful settlements. There are casualties among civilians. The political and military leadership of Azerbaijan is carrying out yet another war crime. The full responsibility of any further increase in tensions must be borne by the criminal leaders of Azerbaijan, the Defense Army mentioned. Fabulations and geopolitical fictions reel around the cons of the crisis in Artsakh. In a breathtaking redaction of the historical record, media narratives stage a scene of military offensives unfolding between equally matched belligerents over territory populated by Armenians but claimed by Azerbaijan. Each time these scenes appear, they flatten the reality of Armenian liberation efforts into a tale of territorial dispute in West Asia. No accounting of the war can be possible without recognition of a determinative fact. The indigenous Armenian Armenian people who live in the Autonomous Republic of Artsakh are now engaged in a struggle for self-determination. Bombarded by cluster munitions, suicide drone strikes and untold human rights violations, Artsakh people defend their right to live and govern themselves on ancestral lands populated by Armenians since antiquity. To characterize this scenario otherwise is not to commit a semantic error, it is to falsely authorize Azerbaijan's claim to stolen indigenous territory and to enable its Turkey's ally neo-Ottoman genocidal gambit. On October 23, Genocide Watch issued a state of emergency in Artsakh, classifying Azerbaijan's actions as stages 9 and 10 in a 10-step rubric of genocidal development. Stage 9 and 10 correspond to extermination and denial, respectively. You can read the full article on our website. The risk of U.S. sanctions against Turkey due to the acquisition from Russia of the S-400 anti-aircraft missile systems is increasing. Claire Cooper, Assistant Secretary of State of Political Military Affairs, stated this during a briefing. As for the CATSA sanctions, the risk of their application has never disappeared. What we see by now for the period between last and this year is an increasing risk. Dassey commented on the prospects for the U.S. to use measures against Turkey for the purchase of the S-400. Cooper stressed that the sanctions risk that Turkey is exposing itself is quite real. With regard to sanctions a year ago, the intention was to withdraw Turkey from the threat of sanctions against it. This brings us back to today. The mentioned risk is very real. Sanctions are one of the real options for action, he added. Research on Armenian Architecture Foundation comes up with a new initiative. The statement reads as follows. Dear friends, based on the current war situation in favor of our victory, the Research on Armenian Architecture Foundation is selling all the works published over the years, thus supporting the Armenian soldier. From now on, you can choose any book, transfer the money to Hayastan, all Armenian fund, come to our office and get your book.
In Western Armenia, autumn has taken over the whole nature. Many places of interest have not been left out. They admire the locals and tourists with their appearance. We can mention many of those places, but today let's single out the magnificent Berkri waterfall and the Manzur mountains with their valley. Berkri waterfall has always stood out with its unique beauty in all seasons. Even with this colorful autumn look, it continues to charm and attract nature lovers. Now let us represent your attention a song by Maratuk Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.